Listen, Ernest, I can't take it anymore. She doesn't treat me like her husband. I want us to get a divorce. What did you say? A divorce. Listen to me, Tiger. If you take that back now, I'll forgive you. I know you're just upset. But I want you to stop saying you want to get a divorce. Don't say things like that. It hurts people. Do you understand? Hey. Please understand. I've been trying so hard. But still, she looks down on me. She bullies me, and I don't think I deserve that. I never did her wrong, and I've never hurt her. I don't deserve to be demeaned or belittled every day. Yes, I might not be good enough for you, but I'm a grown man. Can't anyone see that? And no one should treat a grown man like this. Okay, all right, relax. Calm down. No need to shout. I know it's not your fault. Then tell me, why do you have to treat me like everything's my fault? Hey, what are you shouting for? Am I the one mistreating you? Do I look like Sammy? All right, listen, Tiger. If you think that by threatening her with a divorce you can teach her a lesson, you have my complete support. But the thing is, you don't know whether it would work. What if it has no effect on Sammy at all? What if she doesn't buy it? What are you gonna do then? I don't care anymore, brother. I'm a man. You should understand. I feel so down already. Yes, yes. I understand you completely. I know because I'm a man too. But Sammy is... A woman, but a very different kind of woman. I know things get tough sometimes, but just hold on to each other, all right? No, brother, you don't understand. This is the end of the line for me, so whatever she wants to say, whatever she wants to do, I really don't care anymore. I don't want to be with her anymore, I'm so fed up! Shh. I know you can't stand her anymore. I can't stand her, even though she's my sister. But realize she also has some nice traits. Don't look at her shortcomings. Just focus on the good things. Get me stop thinking about how she makes you feel bad. There are other things to consider. Sure, sometimes she's mean, but she has to be good in other aspects, right? It's good you guys are here. Now we can make things better. Okay, Sammy, you don't have to say anything else, except apologize to Tiger. What, are you crazy? Hey, watch your mouth. Don't talk to her like that. You listen carefully, Sammy. Tiger's the only one who can tolerate you. If you were with someone else, he would have surely kicked you out ages ago. You should cherish a good man like Tiger. Hey, Sammy. I want to be honest with you. What you did today was very wrong. No matter what caused your misunderstandings, he you can't humiliate Tiger like that. You're his wife. So, let's patch things up now. Apologize to Tiger so we can all go back home, okay? And also, as your big brother, I want to tell you something. Sammy, you might be good overall, but you're too aggressive. I think Tiger deserves an apology. If the sun rises from the west. In that case, the sun has risen from the west. Sammy, I want a divorce. What are you talking about? What did you say? I want a divorce. Shut up. How dare you? Stop that. Yes, I want a divorce. Yes, a divorce. You know what? I'm tired of this. Stop it. Stop it. Stay there. What? You think I'm a fool? Come here. No, no, no. I said calm down. Come here. Come here. Pretty, Sammy. I'm a man. I'm going to show you I'm a man. What are you doing? Get up. Let's go. Get up. Get my hands on you. I'll show you what's better than your divorce. You're going to show you the man. And you know what? These are not tears. This is life. How dare you insult me in front of other people? I hate you so much. I hate you, Sammy. Let me go. I'm serious, Sammy. I want a divorce. I want a divorce. You hurt me? Let's talk about it, okay? I said let me oh. go! Grandma, I'm done already. Very good. Now go ahead and do your homework, okay? Okay. You see that? 
People said that she's the female tiger. Don't say that. Others still search. Yet she managed to marry a good man. But she doesn't value him. If Tiger realizes his worth and leaves her, she'll regret it a lot. All right. That's enough. You might be hurt by someone. Okay, okay, sorry. What's wrong with you? Are you sure you're a girl? Go, go, hurry. Don't push me! I can walk by myself! Where's Tiger? He's dead. Stop what? it already. Purity's talking to him. I can't believe this, Sammy. You spoiled child. As your mother, I got embarrassed too. You humiliated him in front of people. I... How can you do that to your husband? And what do you think they will say about how I raised you, huh? I'm telling you, Sammy, you've gone too far. No man can tolerate you anymore. I wasn't asking for your opinion. You see? That's exactly why. You know what? I hope Tiger wasn't serious about getting divorced. <laughs> really, Ernest? Him? Let's see if he has the guts. Why are you so stubborn? Admit it. Where did that come from? Stubborn girl? Y you need to learn a lesson. Oh, wait. Y you... Look at yourselves. I might have gotten it from you. How dare you say that? <laughs> but no, 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 Mom, enough. Both of you, stop. Come on, guys, stop it. Tiger, I hope you feel a bit better now. You see, Tiger, we all know that Sammy has a temper. And that's also why I think she doesn't really mean to hurt you at times, because whenever she's angry, she tends to say something she doesn't really mean. Anyway, as Sammy's sister-in-law, I'm apologizing to you on her behalf. Please don't be mad anymore. Purity, you don't have to do that. You didn't cause this. This has nothing to do with you or Ernest. Tiger, I really hope you don't mind. But I have something to ask. Was the fight between you because you were trying to have a baby? <laughs> I'm right. I really thought that was it. Tiger, it wouldn't really help if you rush things like this, trust me. The baby won't come if you rush it. Sometimes, you just need to let nature take its course, so don't stress out. Purity? Yes? I tried telling her that as well, but since I'm a man, no one values my opinion much at home. You know, Sammy got mad today when she discovered that you... that you were pregnant. Purity. I think Sammy's a good person deep inside, but sometimes she likes to compete with other people too much, and I don't think that's healthy. I see. So maybe try to understand her. I do. <sighs> Actually, whenever I see Sammy like this, I hurt and I don't want her to suffer. I understand what you feel, Tiger. But even as a grown man, there are times that you need to give in to a woman. Because if neither of you give in, the marriage won't work. Though I know sometimes it's hard to confront her, so in that case, you can speak to me first, or your brother so we can talk to Sammy. But no matter what, divorce is at the end of the list. It is very, very painful. Your brother and I experienced it, so please, Tiger, try fixing it first. Purity? I think I might have gotten too carried away earlier. To be honest, I just wanted to teach her a lesson. Yes, you got carried away. However, don't worry, because we all know it's because she did something wrong earlier, right? Tiger, your brother and I will talk to Sammy about this. But next time you hit a tough spot in the relationship, solve it as a team, alright? Uh, I really appreciate it, Purity. <sighs> they fought because they've been trying and failing to get a baby, Ernest. You should talk to them. They can't rush this. If both of them are healthy and stress-free, their baby will come sooner or later, right? Yes. It also reminds me of an old saying, haste makes waste. How can haste help at all in making babies, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. I want to know what our son is doing right now. But he's still so little. He can't detect him until he's four months old. Come on, I have more experience than you. I meant you have more experience than me. <laughs> I think I hear a heartbeat. A little one. <laughs> oh, wow. Why, what did you hear? He's swimming inside. And he's singing too. Great voice. He sang this. Hello, Mom and Dad. I'll come talk to you when I come out. Daddy, I'm gonna kick you when I come out for leaning there, okay? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, 
<laughs> Uncle's just listening to the baby. Hey! There is a baby? You're a bad oh, father! Oh, I hate you! I hate you! Hey, 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 hey! Why are you hitting your mom? Oh, you said you only wanted one child! Now that you have another one, I know you are winning! No! No, you're listen to me, mother. Winnie! Please, listen to me! No, listen to Winnie! Winnie! Listen to you again! Winnie! <laughs> Winnie. What's going on? Uh, nothing, Mom. Oh, you found out. <sighs> it's not a big deal. Nothing she can do about it. Seriously, you can't spoil her like this. Shh. Winnie. <sighs> Sweetheart. Mommy is very sorry. I didn't mean to hide it from you. I just haven't thought of a good way to tell you about your baby brother yet. Please forgive me, Winnie. First you left Daddy, and then you married Uncle Jack. I have already accepted that, Mom. But Mommy, I can't accept this new baby in your stomach right now. You said you only wanted me. You said I was enough for you, Mom. But if you have a baby, you'll not want me anymore. Winnie, don't even think about those things, I promise you. Mommy will always want and love you. And I will never leave you. You are my daughter, so how can I leave you? So don't say words like that, okay? Mom can't live without me. No, you won't fool me again. Once the baby is born, I will get it from you, Mommy. And I will throw it into the toilet and flush it. Did you hear what that kid said? How can you reason with a child who doesn't understand things? Let me go upstairs. No, 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 no. Let Purity handle this, Mom. You know what a child needs when she talks like that? A good beating. What are you talking about? She's a kid. All right, have it, Yuri, but I'm telling you, continue spoiling her like this and see what a person she will become someday. Shh, lower your voice, they might hear you. <sighs> Mom will love Winnie forever. Mom will always be with Winnie. You gotta believe when I say this. And besides, if you have a brother or a sister, when Mom and Dad get old, or when we pass away and go to heaven, at least you have someone left with you and you can take care of each other like we do now. Mom also has a brother. But Kaima doesn't prefer mom over your uncle. But right now, Winnie, I promise you don't have to worry about anything. Please stop crying. I don't care. And mom loves Winnie the most. Go ahead and sleep, mom. Hey. Ernest, you don't think that she'll get an abortion? No, of course not, mom. She's not gonna do that. All right, just go to sleep. Go on, go on. You better be sure my grandchild's safe, okay? I am. Watch over her. Don't worry. <laughs> To sum it up, she's in shock and she can't accept that I'm pregnant. This is my fault. I should have told her about this earlier to prepare her. I guess that's it for tonight. More for tomorrow. Hey. Look, maybe... You don't want this baby anymore? What are you talking about? I don't know. I'm thinking about this... And I'm getting worried about Winnie. This is hard for her. And besides, we have other options, right? Let's wait until Winnie agrees to us having a baby. What? No, suddenly we don't want the baby anymore because of this? 
Wait, were you really serious? You were willing to do that horrible thing for Winnie? Yes. <sighs> Stop it, don't even think about that. Okay, forget it. Listen, I'm just worried that you might have a hard time, that's all. But now, it seems like we have to wait until Winnie softens up about this. I have a plan. I'll buy her a present tomorrow. Let's see if that'll cheer her up a bit. Make sure she'd like it. Winnie, what's with the long face, honey? Huh? Hey, were you bullied by the boys in your school? Just tell me who did it, and I'll take care of all of them. No, it's not that. No? Is it because you didn't get a good score or something? Not that either. Too many classes? No, not that either. You'll never guess it, Dad. <laughs> then tell me, and I promise you, I'll do something about it. Trust me, okay? There's nothing you can do. Look, how can you be certain if you don't tell Daddy about it? Tell me first, and I'll see what I can do. Mommy is pregnant. What did you say? She wants to have another baby. Woody, just give me a sec. Why, Dad? What's wrong? No, no, it's all right. I just need to rest. Daddy needs to rest. <laughs> Daddy, where does it hurt? Do you want me to call Mom? Doctor, is it cancer? It will be if we don't treat it soon. Oh, come on, Doctor. That's really scary. Lifestyle and diet affects a person's health a lot. In his case, he drinks too much. He also overeats. Now one third of his stomach is full of ulcer. I think we have to get rid of that part. Doctor, you mean he needs to undergo surgery? Yes, he needs to. Otherwise, he'll be back again here soon. And if that happens, the problem might have gotten worse already. If one third of his stomach gets removed, isn't that harmful for him? No, it won't be. He might lose some weight, though. And you should remind him not to overeat once his stomach gets smaller. Oh, of course. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. Hey, I'm not going to go inside with you. But please remember, there should be no arguments for the baby. Thank you, Ernest. I promise no arguments. I'll be right back. Didn't I just get the shot this morning? You still need one more dose. But I have an IV. What are those needles for? They're two different things. Does he need to get a shot now? Yes, it's for his stomach. I'll give it. Here, hold my hand. So you won't get scared No, that I don't want it. Listen to me, I'm serious. I don't want it. If you touch my butt, I'll sue you. Stop being silly. You need this for your stomach. Just hold my I hand. I don't want it. Even if you don't want it, the nurse will still give it to you. And if you don't cooperate, it will hurt more. Still, I don't. Ah! Oh, that hurts. Ah! It's all right. It's over now. It's all right. It's all right. Just relax, oh, okay? Hurt. Just breathe. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, we're done. You can rest now. Thank you so much, <sighs> nurse. You can let go of my hand now. You cut off the blood supply already. <laughs> that hurt. I don't understand why you're hurting yourself like this, Matt. First it was our family. Now you're destroying yourself. What's wrong with you? Oh, please stop it. It's beginning to sound like a rat begging a cat. Right. However, I'm the cat this time. And you're the rat in a hospital bed. Actually, you're worse than a rat. Just look at yourself. Whenever Winnie's not with you, you tend to overeat and get drunk. So now you're paying for it. You scared Winnie, you know that? I can't believe you. I haven't blamed you for anything. But now you start blaming me for everything? What did I do? What's wrong with you? Did Winnie tell you something? You know what you did. What are you talking about? Shh. Hey, tell me something. Why are you in such a hurry, huh? Hurry for what? Hurry for what? You rushed to get married again. Rushed to have a baby. Tell me, Purity, why are you in such a hurry for these things? Stop that nonsense. I'm not rushing anything, okay? But you do rush. I get it. You want to get back at me. But you don't need to hurt yourself like this, understand? Have you considered Winnie's feelings? Listen, Matt. We're already divorced. You don't need to worry about me anymore. And besides, having another baby is a good thing so Winnie won't be alone. Hey, if you thought it would be a good thing for her, then why didn't you have another with me before we split up? 
Well, you're not as attractive as him. Hey, I'm warning you. Don't mess with me right now. All right, all right. Hey, listen, Matt. The reason why I came to see you is because I'm worried. Soon you will have a surgery. That's in a few days. So if you need anything, I want you to tell me, okay? You can start by going away. I feel unhappy whenever I see you. So please, leave me alone. Can you please stop acting like this? Honestly, I came here because I'm worried for Winnie. I don't want to see her crying if she lost you. Go, go, just go. What kind of person are you? I will never come again, even if you beg. Oh, come on, relax. Don't be angry, it's not good for the baby. I can't believe his arrogance. I can see you're upset. He doesn't feel good whenever he sees you're already happy because he feels left out. That, plus the fact that he's in the hospital, uh, how can you expect a patient like him to say nice things, right? I can expect more from a rock. Then tell me, do you feel <laughs> any regret when you left the room? I don't regret it. <laughs> Please, somebody help me! Help me! Wait, that's Matt calling for help. I want to know what happened. Come on, let's go. <sighs> Wait, 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 slow down. Up. Oh, come on. Harry, give him some anti nausea medication. Doctor, what's wrong with him? Don't worry, ma'am, he's fine. Careful. Okay. All right. Oh, easy, easy, easy. Be careful, please. Mr. Jack, we need to do surgery now. We should do it or your life will be in danger. But this should be signed first. I need any of your family member to sign this. I'll, I'll sign it myself. No, you can't. You're too weak. Then there's no one to sign it for me. What? But... Doctor, I'm his family. I'll sign it. upset at me? Nothing. You know it's better if we talk about it. Why did you sign the consent form? You heard the doctor. She needs a signature to start the surgery. The operation can't be delayed any longer, so I signed it for him. I don't understand why it has to be you. Because only the two of us were there. You were never his family, so it had to be me. But he has a lot of friends. Or maybe a secretary, maybe some close colleagues. They could have signed the consent form instead of you, right? <sighs> Ernest, there's nothing to be jealous about. This has nothing to do with that. But you guys are already divorced. I didn't quite understand that. You two are divorced, so why are you still concerned about him? It's not like I don't want to help, I just feel uncomfortable. Very. His parents are out of the country, so no one can sign for him. I'm sorry, Ernest, but I can't leave him knowing that I could have done something. <sighs> that doesn't make me feel any better. Please don't be angry. You know I just wanted to do what I can. See, even though he didn't treat me well before, Without him, I wouldn't have Winnie. And it was just a small thing. If we can do something to help him, we should. If you were in the same situation, I would do the same. I'd never be like that. Oh, please stop being jealous already. Hey. Hey. I'm kind of thirsty. Can you please buy me water? For the baby too? Didn't you tell me sooner? Sit, sit. Sit down. Stay here. Don't move. I'll be back.
<sighs> Purity, what are you doing? You should have told me what you wanted and I can make it for you. You don't it's have to okay. cook It's okay, it's not for me. Now. Then you don't need to cook for his meals either. I can cook his food for him. Be careful. Mom, I have a friend in the hospital. This food is for him. He can only eat porridge. How precious is that friend of yours to let my daughter-in-law cook for him? Did you tell him she's pregnant? You should know better. I can't believe it. Go and rest. Come, Purity, you leave it to him. Okay. Go, go, go. Go ahead, I'll be Don't right there. Yourself. Yes, 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 Mom. Mom, what oh. brought you here? Hello, darling. Good morning. It's Mom. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi. What happened? All Winnie told me is that her dad's in the hospital. Are you two taking care of them? What? Did I just hear you say Winnie's dad? Huh? <clears throat> you mean this porridge you're making is meant for your ex-husband? Why? <sighs> it's been years since you two got a divorce. It's no longer your business if he's in the hospital, right? So, why are you still taking care of him? No, Mom. I asked her to help him out. I asked her to make the porridge for him. Where are you going? Are you out of your mind? Mom, let's all sit down. Come on, come on, sit down. Purity, you're pregnant, and we worry about taking care of you. But for some reason, here you are busy taking care of other people. Ironically, it's your ex-husband. I really can't understand it. Mr. Chan, I'll go ahead now. Get well soon. Okay. Thanks for coming. Anything else before I leave? No, I'll just give you a call when I need something. Thanks again. Oh, oh okay. Call me anytime. What are you doing here? Unfortunately, Purity made some porridge for you, so here you go. Hey, look. Is your nurse here? Because I can ask her to feed you. Just leave it there. But where shall I leave it? This is gonna get cold soon. I don't care. Listen, I don't care about you. I care about this food. Because my wife made it and meant for it to be eaten. So, if you want to eat it, eat it already. She exerted effort to make this for you. If you don't want the porridge, I'll tell Purity never to bother cooking again. Goodbye. How do you expect me to eat it, huh? My nurse went out to lunch. I can't manage that. Do we have to teach you how to eat? Use your mouth. <sighs> Should I call your doctor? I'm fine. Don't mock me, Ernest. Better not say anything. Tell me, will you eat it or not? You're doing this on purpose. Do I look like I can eat on my own? Go away. I don't want to see your face. Hey, come on. We're both well-educated men. Can you pay attention to your manners? <laughs> Listen to yourself. Mind my manners when you want to feed me crappy food. You think her cooking tastes good? Why are you so proud of it? Listen, if you don't want to eat it, all you have to do is say so. You talk too much for someone who's sick. Man, you should also get a psych workup. If it were only up to me, I would have left you alone to suffer in here. You're so ungrateful. You're a psycho. And you're just jealous of me. That and other things. What, uh, what did you say, you moron? Uh, oh. Okay, listen. Let's stop the discussion. I'll take care of Matt myself. Purity, just stay home. It's not a big deal for me. And here we are, discussing this on this table like it's the biggest issue of the century. It's fine. Are you serious about that, Alice? It is a very big deal. If Ernest's ex-wife came here and asked him to take care of her, will you be happy? Mom, Matt is sick. And he needs a surgery. But his parents and sister are not in China as of the moment. And I don't know when they'll be back to take care of Matt. No one can sign the consent for him. So, I had to sign it for him. No matter what, he is still Winnie's father, am I right? <sighs> but you shouldn't have let Ernest go. It's not his business. But I didn't ask him to. I'd rather go there myself. But he won't let me. He insisted to go. Of course he shouldn't let you. You're carrying a baby. What if you catch an infectious disease? Then the baby catches it too. That's what he thought too. So Ernest insisted to go there himself. The thing is... Winnie's dad really needs someone to take care of him, Mom. I remember, when my father got sick, Matt helped us a lot, so I think it's just right to help him now. 
We can't just leave him. I understand. All right, so we'll take care of him, okay? But you don't need to do any of this yourself. I'll go to the hospital. So I can check on him. I'll even cook his meals. Is that okay? You know, I'm not very comfortable with this. But since it sounds like he really needs help, I can go as well. Okay, thank you, Mom. Mom, but for now, maybe you two can have a rest. I'll just go upstairs to make a call. I need to check on work. <sighs> what? You, you haven't, haven't resigned, resigned yet? yet? Uh, no, I haven't. What on earth were you thinking? Listen, you can't earn much money anyway, so just stay home and raise your kids. You don't have to go to work anymore. Yourself? It's so hot outside here. Oh, Use thanks. This. Don't worry, I'll give you a tip. Uh, no, it's all right. I wanted to go out for some air anyway. Why? What happened? Just stop. Uh, Tell me. <laughs> Nothing of importance. Oh, but your face shows me that something's really bothering you. What's wrong? Did you fight with your wife? <laughs> Could you please not talk about that for now? I'm still a bit traumatized about it. You see? Uh, I'm sweating again. Have some more. Hold on. I remember you told me something about a business at home you have to deal with. So what was it? Uh, not so good. It's getting complicated every day. My problem is that my late husband has so many relatives, you know? And since we didn't have any children, it's hard to get the house back. So I'm stuck. You have to ask your side of the family to help you with it then. You're the wife. <sighs> I wish I could have a relative like you, Tiger. I do need someone who can help me when things get difficult. Don't worry, man. I'll help you the best I can. Just tell me what to do. Really? Yes, it's a man's promise. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> Do you enjoy flirting with somebody else's Sammy, husband, you cheap Sammy, woman? Stop, 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 what are you talking about? Is that what you do? You're cheap woman! You're cheap! You're cheap! You're cheap! You must be crazy! What are you doing here? Are you stalking me or something? Stop that! Good job, Tiger! I see you have new skills! And now you want to flirt on other girls! Behind my back! I told you we were just stalking! I was not flirting with her, okay? Have you lost your mind, Sammy? Shut up! I want a divorce now! And I want it too! I'm, I'm tired of this! to pay him for this! You're a psycho! Don't ever come back here! What a hopeless lunatic! <laughs> you know, I have learned something valuable from the both of you. Huh? It's something valuable, can you believe it? <laughs> what is it? That women have to be financially independent, that we should be able to stand. In other words, we should have lots of money. <laughs> What are you talking about? I don't have money. But you're in charge of all the money in the family, right? That's a good point. And you, Carol, even if you live in the countryside with a simple job, you're still financially independent. And people respect you a lot here. Oh, that's only true because I always spend what I earn smartly. So what do you really mean to say is that you still need to work, is that it? <laughs> well, you can continue working, but don't stress out. My grad's on there might get stressed out too, you understand? <laughs> okay, I won't let that happen. Good. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Why are you hugging the tree? Let go of it, you're coming with me. Let go, let go of it now. Sammy, I won't go with you. I'm telling you, I'm not scared of you, okay? I'm not scared at all. So just go and leave me alone already. So if you're not scared, come with me. Tell people yourself. <laughs> Tell them why you want to have a divorce with me. Listen, Sammy. Have you forgotten that you 
intentionally hid something from me before? You mean my brother's classmate? I admit, I liked him before. But that was a long time ago already. But now I caught you red-handed, Tiger. So that's different. What do you have to say about that now, you useless lump? Sammy, you didn't catch anything. We were just talking. What's wrong with that, huh? That's enough. Let's just go. We're going. No. We are. I said no. Let's go. Come on. Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. Hurry up. What are you doing? Let go of him! Mom, I can't take this anymore! I don't know how to live with him after this! Look at yourself! Why are you crying again? What's wrong? What Tiger, happened? I thought you reconciled already. What did you fight about this time? Hey, Sammy. We can fight in our own house as much as you want, but not in other people's place. What have I ever done to you to deserve this? Tell me! Do you think I want to fight somewhere else? Uh. <laughs> Tiger has a secret affair. I know, I didn't believe it with my eyes either. Divorce! Divorce! <laughs> Stop this nonsense now. If you say someone else has an affair, I might believe your story, but not this. If you say it's Tiger, I'd never believe it. So why are you doing this to I him? agree. Because I caught him in the act. Why else do you think I'm asking for a divorce? Tiger, is what Sammy's saying true? Tell me. Look, Sammy. This is too much already. You're making all this stuff up in your head. Dirty. Don't listen to her nonsense. What really happened? The widow next door. I saw them getting cozy earlier. No, not you, Sammy. Tiger, you tell us. <laughs> Look, Sammy, if you look at me, you can shout at me, but I tell you, you can't keep hurting- Tell me, do you give her free food when she orders? Yeah, but only twice! See? Now tell me, did you flirt with that woman? No, Sammy, you're just trying to blame something on me. Just answer my question directly! But Sammy, you're going too far with all of this nonsense! <laughs> I can't even answer it! Sammy, calm down. Let Tiger talk. He's not like that. It's just a misunderstanding. Tiger, tell us, is it true? Dirty. I swear on my life. Nothing at all? Nothing. How can you lie? How dare you? Stop it! How can you do this to me? Divorce! Stop this nonsense right now! You always say divorce. I will seal your mouth if you don't stop saying it. How old are you to act so immaturely? Divorce isn't the answer for everything. What? what? Which side are you on? Can't you see I'm the victim here? You should be defending me instead. Oh, come on, Sammy. Cut it out. Everybody in here knows that Tiger's always the victim. Yes, that's right. Mom, shh. Whatever. I made up my mind. I can't live like this. Divorce. Sammy, now that you said this in front of everyone, I hope we won't regret making that decision. I hope you really thought about this. I made up my mind. I won't regret it. I don't want you anymore. <gasps> what are you? Can you hear your <laughs> mom? Stop! Mom, 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 what was that for, Mom? Ernest! I'm sure Sammy doesn't really mean it. She's just trying to scare Tiger. If she really wanted a divorce, why is she still here? Why bring him home? Uh, I really regret this, you know. I shouldn't have agreed to let them live with us. They're bringing so much trouble. Well, you look upset too. Did Matt give you a hard time there? You think I'd let him do that? Tch, <laughs> he'd never give me a hard time. Hmm, just don't forget that he is a patient. So, you should go easy on him. So what are you telling me? Oh, that he can give me a hard time but I should be nice to him? Is that what you want? Is that fair to you? All I mean is that you two should get along well with each other. He's a patient, so we can't just ask much from him. But we're family. Uh, 
That's quite true. But listen to me. That man shouldn't be too spoiled by your kindness. You asked me to take care of him, so he should listen to me, right? But he doesn't seem interested at all. So what did you do? I didn't do anything. I know you did something. Come on, don't lie to me. He just... accidentally choked on his food. Why did you let him choke on it? You see, he didn't treat you well before. Also, he hurt you and made you cry a lot on top of that. I don't like him. But you shouldn't have let him choke on his food. I'm the one who's supposed to take care of him. By doing this, he made me feel bad. How can you let that happen? I counted on you. Why are you angry? Do I look angry? So you're not? If I had my cell phone with me, I'd take a picture of you so you could see your face. <sighs> this is what I get for trying to help someone I don't like? You deserve it. You should have been the better person. Instead, you let a helpless person get choked. So, since you can't watch him, I'll go myself. Uh, uh, no, 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 don't do that. I'll try again, okay? Actually, it's not as bad as you think. He just threw a bit of a tantrum earlier. He knows that you made the porridge especially for him, and I think he really wanted to eat it. But he pretended that he didn't care about eating it at first. Every time I fed him with the spoon, he spat it out. I feed him again, he spits it. I feed him again, he spits it. So I got angry. So I used the spoon to press the food harder into his mouth. Okay. And I filled his uh, mouth okay, with Okay, I get it. And then? He ate it. He ate all of it? Ask the doctor if you don't believe me. If the doctor didn't stop him from eating, he would have eaten even the plate like it wasn't enough. You're very lucky he's sick, because if he wasn't, he will surely beat you up until he can't stand again. Yeah, I... Wait, whose wife are you? Do you think I'm lame? Whose side are you on? I'm your wife. I support you. You'd beat him until he can't stand. Oh, now that's better. You're too jealous. Well, no one can help it in this situation. Oh, come on. Let's go and pick Winnie up already. Sheesh. <sighs> so, he way. 你就在哪里？忘了时间，川流不息。我用人心留你在身边，却还是忘了你模糊的脸。思念。